<laughs> I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Oh snap! Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Hey man. Full Metal Alchemist started life as a manga, and it is a wonderful story. What am I saying? I spoke without even thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite things are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. I like it. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Like, you would have loved the game I played last weekend. It was Claire the Extended Cut, in case anyone was curious. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been le reading a lot of horror lately. Oh yeah? Is that where this is going? I read a horror book once. Never really read horror books, but... I would vibe more with that than I, I wrote a horror story once. That was cool. It was for a creative writing class. I desperately grasp at something, grasp at something so that I can relate to at a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. Hey man, you don't have to, you know... It doesn't have to be one-to-one -one for you to appreciate it. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or makes takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Oh, oh, whoops. Ugh, I hate horror. I hate horror movies. I can really get into a good horror game, though. Usually. Why is that? Well, I just... I start over to me for a split second. Never mind. Oh, you're embarrassed, aren't you? Cute things. What? What, what gives you that idea? But a piece of, you left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. So you were working on a poem called... Oh man, this is about to get straight Persona 4 reading Marie's poem. Don't say it out loud. I give that back. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh god. Siddles up behind her and puts her hands on... Okay, so it's kind of funny that all that was was the sprite. With that description, you'd almost expect a new anim like a new sprite to represent that instead of just sliding the other one behind, but that almost makes it funnier. I am not cute. You write poems? Ugh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Uh, yeah, I. Poems are not something I can do. Roses are red, violets are blue. I can only do free verse poetry. Why don't you share them sometime? No. <laughs> she averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand how she feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The true form of writing is writing to oneself. I suppose. Uh, you must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Ah. 
Do you have writing experience too? You know, if you've already been a club, wouldn't you people have covered this already as far as you would all know that about each other? Maybe if you share your work, you can set an example to help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. She doesn't want to share hers either. This is just like the creative writing class I was in senior year. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh no. And next time we meet, we'll share them with each other. Oh god. That way, everyone is even. Um. Oh man. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Oh boy, isn't that right? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? I haven't officially joined. Ah, uh, now that we're back on the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Uh, yeah. I still have other clubs to look at and uh... Oh, they all give me the sad puppy dog eyes and I give in because I... Well, no, I'm not gonna say I. My character gives in because he is weak. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Buh, but... I'm sorry, I thought... Humph. Grr. You all. I'm defenseless, I guess. You weak, pathetic fool. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That's it. If writing poems is the... Oh, God. You weak, pathetic fool. I state again. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. So happy. <laughs> All I can think of is the Nintendo Capri Sun catchphrase. Wraps her arms. Oh God. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just. <laughs> First of all. That is a valid reason for anyone to show up and bounce, alright? Cupcakes are cupcakes. And that makes it official. I feel like that pose that she does right there is like... the t Like... Like an unfinished ice skating pose. Like, if one of her legs should be kicked out and she should be on an ice rink. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem and bring it to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over to me once more. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Probably not, but this is what you get for being a weak, pathetic fool. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. You made your bed now rot in it, dude. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Na Natsuki clean up their food. Since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, we never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay. The two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Every day? 
Like, every day? Not once a week? Or like twice a week? Every day? That's extreme. I just need to make the most of my circumstances and good fortune will find me. That's not a bad way of train of thought. I guess this starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, maybe this is where the choices would come in. Pick words you think your favorite club member would like. Something good might happen to whoever's poem likes. Un unstable vitality, Papa cheer, extreme. Alright, so. I finally have. I'm gonna make a save here. I suppose. Turn. Contamination, pleasure, whisper, dance. Massacre. That's exciting. Let's go with that one. Aw. Oh. So, wait, I. Can't. I'm just picking words and then. Okay, crimson. Entropy? This isn't even fair. I, I think I'm playing right into this game's hand and. After image. That's cool. Fantasy attorney. Effulgent. I actually don't know what that word means. I'm looking that up when I'm done here. Determination. Hmm. I'm gonna go with essence. Melody playground animate muck beauty strawberry analysis tone. What do with melody just because I feel like changing it up? Vertigo, anxiety, wrath, variance, holiday, fickle, sunny, alone. Uh, huh. Go with disarray. Electricity, parfait, aura, bliss, passion, uncontrollable, whirlwind. Whirlwind sounds like fun. I'm not really choosing these with any particular character in mind. Although I think a lot of these have been playing into the whole what's-her-face was reading horror. So, I'm just choosing... I'm just choosing words that happen to speak to me. We'll go with portrait. Rain cloud, graveyard, melancholy, incapable, imagination, feather, calm, happiness, kiss. Hmm. We'll go with graveyard. Judgment, tenacious, misfortune, vivid. Let's go with vivid. Romance, games, scars, together, lust. Secretive, insight, existence, death, games. Nibble. Just barely beating out explode, I'm gonna choose nibble. Extraordinary universe, whistle, forgive, frightening, doki doki, roll credits. Family, disaster, disown, childhood. Of extraordinary. Pout, peaceful, color, socks. Infallible, pure, landscape, despise, disoriented, wonderful. Let's go with landscape. Milk, ambient. Intellectual, vivacious, heart, friends, raindrops, inferno, kawaii, adventure. Uh, let's go with ambient. Jumpy, incongruent, meager. Shopping, defeat, laugh, unending, dream, sunset, promise. Uh, let's go with unending. Waterfall, vibrant, sucker, love is heaven sent. Awesome, flower, sticky, precious memories, cage, captive. Precious memories, cage, captive. I like all four of the bottom ones. We're gonna go with heaven sent. My heart's a tart, your boop. <laughs> Charm, depression, ribbon, desire, climax, fireflies, hop, chocolate. Oh, fireflies. Okay, once we get through this segment here, I'm probably gonna cut the recording because I gotta go to bed eventually. Hi again, Hunter.
Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Several words now, at least 20 of them. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Sorry I got a little far away. I leaned back in my chair for a second. Thank you. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Every day is a little ridiculous. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he deserves any- Oh, you calm down over there! Pipsqueak. I didn't. I got hassled. I was hassled. Until I cracked. I need to quit saying I until the character cracked because he's a weak, pathetic fool. I don't know if you just plan to come here or hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. What does that mean? <laughs> you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. That seemed a bit harsh. <laughs> Stuck between saying Monica and manga. Mangaka. Manga is literature. Reach. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. <clears throat> he always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my... And... You find that fun? How dependable. Excuse your room is so messy, it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. <laughs> That's hilarious. Is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and Hunter can become good friends, too. Um. Sayori. As usual, she's a weird... <laughs> It's not that weird, she's just suggesting friendship. Get out of here. Oh, she even brought- oh boy. I love gifts. Eh, me. Not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? It's a friendship bracelet or something, isn't it? Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. <laughs> The anime just lined out faces there. And she looks like some kind of, I don't know, upset cat in the face area there. Any nice gesture is a pleasant gesture. It's a pleasant surprise. It will make me happy no matter what. Is it another cupcake? I don't, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. I don't care if you don't care. All right, well here. Whoever pulls out a book. I don't know why I was expecting cupcakes or something silly when this is definitely the bookiest of the book nerds. So I picked out a book that you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. <laughs> I like the. <laughs> I like that that makes her turn away. That's hilarious. This is how this girl is accidentally being so cute. She even picked out a book that she liked, or the thinks I'll like despite me not reading so much. Thank you, I'll definitely read this. We'll see what it is. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Could you like enlighten me on what the title of this book is? Now that everyone's seated, I expect Monica to kick off the scheduled activities. That doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. 